Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will be learning something very important that is how to automatically send emails with multiple charts or graphs using Gmail. Now in one of my previous tutorials, I had explained how to send an email with a chart or a graph using Gmail on which I received multiple queries in which people asked me how to do the same thing with multiple charts. So in this tutorial, I would be covering that. So without wasting any time, let's first see a demo. So this is my spreadsheet in which I have these two charts. So these are just sample charts. You could have your charts which are available in your spreadsheet. Now I want, what I want is like, I want to send these two charts in the body of my email. So if I click on send charts over here, we'll just wait until the script is finished. It is finished now. If I go into the inbox, just refresh it. And here you could see one of the email has come in. And if I open that email, you could see in this email there are these two charts now these two charts have come in the body so we have successfully achieved sending multiple charts or graphs in the email body using gmail so this was the demo and this technique which i would be showing you would be very useful to people who need to send uh, periodic reports which includes these kind of charts or graphs so they do not have to manually put the graphs or charts in the email and then send it over just using the script which i'll be showing you right now you would be able to automate the process so let's now write the script for it so we go into the spreadsheet you have to go to the extensions then click on app script once you do that you would be landing on this kind of a screen you'll see by default the name of the function be my function which you could change it to any function of your choice since we are sending charts over here, so I'm giving the name as send charts. And here we will actually write the logic which would, which would be embedding the charts which are there in this sheet and putting it, putting it into the email body. So the script goes like this. So first, like we have created the variable where spreadsheet, because we are dealing with uh, the data which is present in this spreadsheet this variable spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet which is stored in sp sheet variable is pointing to this current spreadsheet now this current spreadsheet may have multiple sheets our data and the charts reside in this sheet named data so whichever sheet holds your charts we have to provide it in the second line of code which is here so we are creating one variable called chart sheet and then telling the sp sheet variable to get the sheet by name and passing the name of the sheet so this variable internally is pointing to this specific sheet now the body email another variable which i have created body email if you would have seen the email which was sent here uh, the body is hi all please find the latest sales report so here i have created this variable body email and i have put this line of code hi all br br is an html tag which will give us a new line so if you'd see after hi all the next line please find the sales report goes on to the next line this is because of this br tag so whenever the email would be sent uh, this would be sent along with the charts so at this point these three variables are ready now comes the most important part where we have to do something to get these charts like we have these two charts and we want to embed these two charts within the body of the email for that i will create one variable like this where charts is equal to the sheet where the charts are embedded the variable which is holding the sheet is chart sheet dot get charts now internally this chart variable is now having a reference to these two charts uh, what i'll do is to make things clear i am i will declare another variable a temp variable for now where temp is equal to charts dot length charts dot length will give me the total number of charts within this sheet so in our case the expectation is temp variable should be populated with two when the script is getting executed to demonstrate it i'll put a breakpoint at this last line and i click on this debug button you could see on the debugger window towards the right temp is equal to two the the value is 2 because on this sheet we have two charts if there would have been more charts then the value would have been the total number of charts embedded within the chart sheet so at this point we know how to get the total number of charts within the sheet now to continue further first i'll stop the debugger and remove this breakpoint and now what we'll try to do is like we'll try to access 
these charts one by one and try to embed it within the body of the email to, uh, to access these charts one by one i'll be using this for loop if you will see this syntax we are using a variable where chart number is equal to zero chart number is less than equal to charts dot length minus one now charts dot length is actually stored in temp so instead of charts dot length over here i could use this temp variable as well chart number plus plus and then we will have these open and close curly braces now you would be wondering why we are starting from zero because since there are two charts internally the first chart has the index of zero and the second chart has the index of one so internally numbering starts from zero because of which we are starting from uh, chart number is equal to zero so now we are in a position to access both the charts like whatever other total number of charts within the sheet can be accessed with the help of this for loop so now there is a rule to embed the chart within the email body we have to first convert it into an image so what i'll do is like this line of code will be performing that task uh, understand this line of code very carefully i'm creating another variable variable called img where img is equal to chart now chart is referring to the chart object and here i'm passing the index so right now at the first iteration the index would be zero which means it is referring to the first chart and dot get as image slash png which means this line of code the chart is converted into an image and getting stored in this variable img so at this point the image variable is storing the image of the first chart now in order so that i do not lose this variable when the for loop would be iterating into the next iteration what i'll do is i will store this image in a collection object i'll show you like how like first we'll have to declare a collection object and uh, we can declare it like this where any variable name of your choice i have given the name as email charts is equal to uh, uh, open curly brace and close curly brace so this represents a collection object and we'll use this collection object to store this image so that whatever are the images will get one by one stored in the collection object so the syntax goes like this email charts email charts was the name of the variable which we created then square bracket now this is the name of the key so the name of the key i am putting as chart like this is the hard coded c h a r t chart plus which i am concatenating with the index plus 1 so in the memory the email chart will have a key called chart 1 and the key chart 1 will store a reference to the first chart similarly when the second iteration would be executing there would be another key called chart at that time the chart number would be 1 so this would be chart 2 is equal to image so there would be two locations of email charts collection object which would be having the references to the charts which are available in the sheet i will explain you this using the debugger once again it would make things much more clearer so here is the debug point and just before hitting the debug button i made a small mistake over here so instead of chart over here at line number 14 it should be plural charts okay nothing else is wrong this was the small error and now when i click on the debug button observe on the right hand side you could see uh, the execution has halted and this variable email charts what it is storing if i just expand it it is it has a reference to chart one and chart two so chart one is nothing but this and chart two is the second chart so using this syntax from line number 10 to line number 16 uh, we could handle all the charts which are available in the sheet so we have stored all the charts in the email charts variable and now we'll move on to the next step which is we have to write the correct html to have these charts embedded within the email body for that once again i'll stop the debugger and i'll show you the line of code through which we'll be embedding the charts within the email body the syntax goes like this body chart so body chart we have not defined as yet so outside the loop let me create a variable body chart is equal to blank and now at this point we are using the body chart and appending it to the html which will embed the chart within the email body 
So this is a standard HTML. If you see image source, these kind of things you must have seen uh, in the uh, in the HTML where there are images. If you're not aware of this, do not worry. You have to just use the code as is, and also I will be providing the source code, so you do not have to worry at all. You could just use the code as is, and it will start working for you. At this point, we have accessed both the charts, and we have also prepared the HTML of the chart. Next thing is outside the for loop. We have to complete the body of the email. If you see at line number five, we have this part body email, which we are just writing. Hi, all please find the latest sales report. So now we have to append this body email with this body chart because we want this text to give together with the charts embedded within the email body. For that, I'll use the body email is equal to body email plus this thing body chart. So this is my entire HTML body email is now storing the entire HTML of this text as well as the body chart. And now we are in a position to, to send the email along with the charts to send the email. The syntax goes like this gmail app dot send mail. The first parameter is the email ID of the recipient. Second is the subject. Third parameter. We have kept it as blank. This is for the body. But since we are passing the body through HTML, we have kept it as blank and provided this section which I am highlighting right now which contains the body in the HTML format and now here you could see this is the keyword inline images and where we are passing the variable email charts if you remember email charts was the collection object which was storing the charts so the reference to it is provided over here and now this script is entirely ready and if everything is fine on click of this run button, the email should be sent along with the charts. So let's see what happens when I click on this run button. The execution has begun. It has completed. I go into my email, go into inbox. Let me refresh it. And here you go. This is the latest report. If I open it, you could see these are the two charts. This is the first one. This is the second one and this is the subject latest report and this is the body hi all please find the latest sales report so this is how we can send multiple charts within the body of an email using google sheets and don't worry about the code the entire code is available at the blog so this is the blog within the google sheets se section send send multiple charts with email this is the link and here you have the entire code you could use this as a reference and you should be able to achieve your goal Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like my videos, I would request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you would be updated with the latest videos I would be uploading. Guys, thanks for joining. I'll see you soon.